the, the behind the scenes on this show, how relatively calm things have been. It, 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 did that surprise you, Hardy? No. Because it's a, kind of a mellow situation because I'm trying to, I don't get as agitated, but it takes everything in my being. Yeah, that ain't you no more. Everything in my being. Every old impulse with Nick. Nick. You were I just love, screaming at him. I love, <laughs> but not for real. Oh, okay, I love okay. Nick. He does a great job. I tell him not all the time. He got a little bonus. He got a little bump. Everyone loves Nick. Nick does great videos. They take forever. Where's the RKK one that you promised me? It's done. Well, then put it up. <laughs> Jesus, what are you waiting for? But he, his walking from that... <laughs> You think off air was I talking? I it drives you me brought that insane. Up while we were His lack air, yeah. of urgency drives me crazy. Well, maybe that is urgent, and that's a problem. Crash texts me, and he goes, "Hey, I'm I'm on I'm on the line," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, Crash is on. He should be. Why is he not on hold?" And then I look, and Nick, five minutes later, he's leaving the the that room. He walk. It takes him ten minutes to walk the the, the ten mm-hmm. feet. Then he comes in, and he's like, "What number do you have?" Why is it, why have you not uh, the, the segment before called crash and asked him to come on? Uh, all right, there's a reason I have crash on. Hi, crash. By first of all, first of all, crash. Hello, hello, toucher. Hello, Hardy. Hi. You can it's, call me Fred. It's, it's all right. You don't have to call does, me toucher. Hi, Fred. Does <laughs> Nick still have that lady ass? That's why he walks so slow. Uh, he does have a delightful muffin ass. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know what came out of that crash? Uh, lots of fecal matter when he. Almost died. Do you know that story? I do not, but I don't really care. But go ahead. Oh. <laughs> so Nick, Nick was uh, at his house. He had just come back from a bachelor party, and uh, his girlfriend at the time, now his wife, thought he was ghosting her. And so she was real pissed, and she finally just like, I'm going to go over there and give him a piece of my mind. She has a key to the house. She comes in. Nick! Nick! Nick's laying in bed. Nick looked at me like, what? Like a like a dog when you say, <laughs> when you say treat, so she goes Nick Nick, and uh, she goes what's that horrible smell, and she goes into the bedroom and Nick is lying unconscious in his own feces in urine, oh, oh. nude, and she oh. uh, ends up saving his life. Long story short, now yeah. he now it just takes him forever to walk here or there, but he could still do a nuts and triathlon. You gotta uh, watch out for those foreign objects. So how are you? First of all, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm still fat and bald and a drunk and lonely. <laughs> no, no wives. Nothing. I'm just, I'm tearing through Facebook, just going through one woman after another. <laughs> Unlucky in love. What what, what happened the, the the last time around? Now, now, Fred, indulge me because you talk to Crash all the time. I don't get a chance to talk to him. The last time I saw you, Crash, was on the drive for five when I begged you to come out for the fan rally there in Atlanta because I thought there would be no Patriots fans there, and it turns out there were a ton, and I barely got a chance to talk to you. I felt bad. Yeah, so, Crash, you were you were married for how long? Well, I mean, the first marriage was less no, than... No, no, I know all that. <laughs> no, we don't have that much time. The third marriage. <laughs> the last one. The, the last, last one... one to the... The last one to the little Argentine was eight months at best. Okay. Oh, boy. And now, was there a language barrier at all? Oh, yeah. We had to do Google Translate for, like, the first six months. I mean, you know, all she knew was just give me money and sex. (laughs) Okay. So how did you two fall in love when it was so difficult to communicate? We met at Disney World, and she was obviously not just there on a vacation. She was looking for a dumb American, and she found one. <laughs> were, there, were there any red flags prior to the nuptials? The fact that we were making out in the line for a ride at Disney the minute I met her was a red flag. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> what, were you, what, what you, what, just, why go through with it then? What? Why go through with the wedding? I, I, you know, once the ball started rolling, I'm an idiot. Come on, you guys know me. I haven't made a good decision my entire life. But and don't I just... frame it like that. I think it's a more of a positive thing, to be honest with you, and I swear to God this is true. It's because you're, you are a very loving guy, and you you want that. You want a wife. You want, it, you want to, to settle down. You would be happy with that. And so, yeah, no, I'm a big fan of love. I, I mean, I'm unlucky in love, but I'm a big fan of it. It just, 
I don't know, man. I think at this point I'm going to be 58 Saturday. I think it's time to just start thinking about a retirement home. So maybe the villages <laughs> in Central Florida. Would you move to the villages? We know people that are in the villages. Would you move there? Oh, Absolutely not. I would go to Panama City Beach. I would become a DJ at an oldies radio station on the beach and just <laughs> do like cream corn wrestling every Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Crash, I uh, am having you on because, like you said, you met your last ex-wife at Disney. Right. Where I didn't know you guys were making out in the ride because you, she liked you because you had a fast pass, right? Well, no, we just helped her with one of her apps to get her on the rides, and then she just kind of hooked up with us. And I was there with my brother and one of my best friends, and we just. I, next thing you know, man, it was just Tonsil Hockey City. In fact, she was there for ten days. I went back home, jumped on a plane flew back to Orlando for three more days of continuous sex. All right. So how long did you, did you, how many days was she in the United States with you? Because she went back to Argentina and you guys were talking on the phone, right? No. Well, yeah, she went back to Argentina. And then I think that was when COVID was really starting to hit. So they were canceling flights and she's like, I got to get out of Argentina. I got to get out of March. So like I wound up paying like 10 times as much for an, for a, a flight from Argentina to, to Atlanta, and then that was it. She was just here. Okay, so when she came from the minute she landed in in uh, Atlanta till the day you got married, how much time do you think passed? Uh, I mean, a little more than a year, maybe, because I think the marriage itself was eight months, so a little more than a year, maybe a year and a half. No, 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 but like before you got married, like from not how long you were in a relationship, but before oh, you got married. Less than six months. Because you remember I texted you and I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about coming to Atlanta. Can you hang out? And you're like, and you said, hey, do you know the show? What was the show? The the engaged, like you, the, where the people just meet and they have to get oh, married? Oh, yeah, 90 Day Fiance, they approached me, yeah. yeah. He goes, oh, they approached you for oh. real? Yeah, yeah, for real, they did. Why'd you say no? Oh, I wanted nothing to do with it. I, I just I just didn't want to exploit it. I didn't want to. Oh, and believe see. me, looking looking back now after what happened and what transpired in the divorce, no, it was a good thing I didn't do that. Did, Very good. Did you uh, not do well in the divorce? It seems like with the marriage that short, you would have been okay. Oh, come on. She's got the wounded duck syndrome. She had a crazy mean lawyer. She doesn't even drive. She's never driven a vehicle in her life. As part of the divorce, they wanted me to buy her a car. <laughs> did she? Did she get God. to stay in it's the? Like the Price is Right. Did she get to That's stay in the United States as a result of being married to a citizen? As far as I know, she's still here because she was working at an animal hospital, walking our dog that she took in the divorce oh. while I was coming back from a movie with my other ex-wife and pointed her out. I go, "Hey, look! It's my third ex-wife." Oh, and what'd she say? She just started laughing. I mean, oh we, it's it's just it, there'll there'll be a book somewhere. I I know there's got to be. You should. You know. So Crash is talking about his. You're talking about Melissa, right? You're right, right. My second wife. So Melissa was married to Crash I when we were in Boston. Right, yeah, yeah you guys know. Oh Melissa. yeah, I know Melissa. delightful. And, and she hated me. Oof! Did she hate me? Really? Yeah, she was not a fan of yours. Oh. Yeah, she hated me, and she hated Boston. She didn't want to be in Boston. Maybe that's I why I liked her so much. I knew that. Hey, <laughs> we had something in common. <laughs> well, anyway, it was nice having you on. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, so but you're now you're friends with Melissa again. Kind of, yeah. I mean, she's she's getting deep into this dude, and what, <laughs> he's getting deep into. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crash, I, miss you so I, I need much. to move on with my life. All right, uh, well, no, but okay, we're not going to get to what I had you on for, which yeah, was a Disney right. thing. That's all right. it, and instead of making fun of adults that go to Disney, which would have been easy, I wanted to have Crash on because he's a good friend of mine who's an adult that goes to Disney. But who cares? Um. So when you say you're going through Facebook, because <laughs> yeah. I'm single too, uh, as you know, how are you? What are you? How are you utilizing Facebook for your love interest? Well, here's the beauty of Facebook: once you start doing something repetitive, you get those algorithms. So the algorithms are now throwing friend requests my way to you know ask someone, and they're single and they live close to me. So I look at their picture and I see how many kids they got. If they got more than one kid, I just keep going. It's almost <laughs> like Tinder. It's like I should just do Tinder. I Tinder too many prostitutes. It's, a, it's exactly, a but so I got to put a little effort in on this one. It's like you know you gotta 
you got to get to know them a little bit. Every now and then you send a junk picture. You see how they react. You just kind of go from there. And there's, I got a date Saturday, or not Saturday. I got a date. I'll be in Disney Saturday. I got a date Friday with this chick. And I don't know, man. She's like a biker chick with a huge rack. And I'm like, excuse me. So you are having success with women. Oh, yeah. No, no. I'm definitely having success. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, so you're, you're, you're meeting these women on Facebook, and then it's, so you're, you got a pretty good conquer rate. Like, you got a pretty it's good... Short term, it's short-term success, because as they slowly start to see me as this loving, nurturing character, I want nothing to do with them, and then i got to get rid of them. One of them still has the frigging key to my apartment. <laughs> oh, boy. How many times did you see her before you gave her the key? I have a small bag of keys, Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a big deal about giving her the key? Like, did you? Because people will do that. They'll, like, oh, put yeah. it in a box or something. Oh, or did yeah. you just go here? Right. here? Here's what happened. Here's the story. This was 4th of July. She was over at my place. I got a flight at 7 in the morning, 5th of July, to go to the beach for vacation. She's destroyed out of her mind, telling me to get on my knees so she can pray for me. Didn't shut up till 3 in the morning. I got two hours sleep. I left her in my apartment took all what I thought were all my keys. She found an extra one and said, I locked up. I'll just hold on to this. Oh. Why was she praying for you? I, she was all wasted. She was doing that semi-glutide shots and drinking tequila. and I don't know what was up, but she just went whack bag <laughs> crazy. And next thing you know, I'm like on two hours sleep going to the airport for a beach trip. And this crazy chick is still in my house. And does she, has she come, like, and opened up your door since she's had the key? No, no. I mean, she's still trying to, you know, like, she's trying to contact me. Like, I think we need to sit down and talk. I'm like, no, you need therapy, and I need my key. <laughs> well, look, look, you're, going, you're meeting a lot of women. That's good. Are you famous there still in Atlanta? You don't have to be modest. Like, do people, like, recognize you and know who you are? Well, yeah. I mean, you remember the old radio station we worked at, 99X. They yeah. brought that back online. So I'm doing traffic and bits for them, and I've been doing 11 Alive stuff, the TV station, for almost 11 years now. So, oh, yeah, famous. I'm fairly yeah. well recognized. Yeah. yeah. Oh, How's good. the 99X thing going? I, it's all right. You know, it's, it's, only two <laughs> of the, it's only two of the three characters and myself, and it's a lot of regurgitation from the old days, but... I mean, it's fun. It's a lot of nostalgia. That radio station was in this town for a long time, right. many years ago. But that's, that's how all we met. it is. But no. Yeah, that's how we met. So if you want to hear this, I think I've told the story on the air before. So they are reforming the station's morning show. I ended up taking over for one of the guys on the morning show that they did not fire. You hear that crash? You can't sue me. And so, and so uh, they approached like the main guy from the old morning show, who's now a very successful real estate broker. And they're like, hey, do you want to do the show? We're taping the show. You don't even have to get up in the morning. We tape it. And then, you know, we play some old bits. It's, it's really fun. And he goes, oh, really? Uh, you're interested in getting back together. How much are, are you thinking? And they're like, how much what? And, he's, and he goes, how much money, you know, are you talking about if I want to do this show again? And they're like, oh, we wouldn't pay you. You'd be doing it for fun. Oh. <laughs> That's where radio is right now. They're like, oh, no, you'd be doing it for free. Yeah, Crash, be- you're not doing it for free, are you? Well, uh, let me let me tell you a little something. Do you you remember our old agent, a gentleman by the name of Norm Shrutt here in Atlanta? Yes. Unfortunately, passed away about five years ago. He is rolling in his grave right now because I am doing this just as an audience marketing crossover, hoping that folks that listen to the radio will watch us on TV and vice versa. So yes, I am doing this for free. Your union breaker is what you're doing. <laughs> scab, scab, scab! How ah. dare you! Would you come to back to Boston for free? We can afford that. I mean, I'll I'll come back for a week and visit if you want to put me up in a nice hotel. Why don't you oh, come at the same time Adolfo? I know Adolfo's coming I'm, soon. I'm you... getting, yeah, I, I, I told Adolfo I'd fly him up. Oh. When? When's he coming? Oh, yeah, let me give me one second. Give me one second to look it up. I will tell you. Be great. You have I, both I, of them. Uh, I love you. You know I love Boston. Half the people that comment on my Facebook page are, are from Boston. I love you guys, man. I was I I had such a fun time in that town. Just you know, for four years, my nice little house in Quincy. I mean, it was. I had a great time. Adolfo's coming on a Monday. <laughs> he requested to come on a Monday. 
So you don't worry about Originally, Fred was going to put him up in his apartment. Yeah, yeah, that's not happening. My apartment. <laughs> I, sorry, your condo. My apartment? How dare you? All right. <laughs> All right, listen. I didn't. Uh, you were let's so set, good. Let's set that up. You were so good that uh, I didn't even get to the, the thing with you. So thank you. Oh, it was just a nice you. update yeah, on that, your life. Yeah, it was bad. A guy who's been to Disney 2,000 days in a row. That's That's a little rough for me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's... I don't know how he was doing it. It's 2,000. Yeah, there's a guy who went to Disney 2,000 days in a row. He's all proud of himself. Well, if you think about it, he's a Florida resident with an annual pass. I mean, he may go to Epcot and just go have lunch for one day, and that's considered being in Disney. So well, I don't think. Well, we'll, we'll probably get to it later, but it's it's the other one. It's Disneyland, and it is kind of a similar uh, situation. I mean, it, it, you're, 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 you're pretty close to what this guy does. I, I just don't understand why you would be rewarded for that. It it should be something that's completely unrecognized. Like congratulations. Uh, I'm, like, I'm sure the cheese doodle stains on his fingers uh, and and his haircut tell the tale. Well, listen, he didn't meet a, a lady he married there and make out in the line. Right. I'll tell you that. All right, well, because right, he needs he needs four Emmys to do that, baby. If if uh, if Crash people want to reach you, Crash, uh, is there social media you would like to plug while you're on the air? I am on Twitter with a new Twitter page at Crash Clark ninety nine. Or I'm on Facebook, uh, Chris Crash Clark, or Instagram, the real Crash Clark. And how can they hear you working for free on 99? No, no, I I don't want to. I don't. I hate that guy. I don't want to promote him. He's a piece of garbage. (laughs) Barnes sucks. F him. I don't. I don't begrudge you doing it, but uh, it doesn't surprise me. It's it. He's taking advantage of you. All right. Very good. Thank you, Crash. Wonderful to talk to you guys. Somebody slap Wallach for me, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. All right. Thank you, Crash. Everyone loves Crash. Crash. Clark, I didn't even get to the segment, uh, the bit. It was so, uh, I enjoyed him so much.